Hey guys and welcome to another video. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and as always if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. As you may have guessed by the title of today's video, don't know why I pointed up like that then. Today I am going shopping for our new sofa and then we'll be making a mood board for the living room updates which I'm so excited about. So I'm headed to Guild Guildford, <laughs> to Guildford, to love your home, where I'm going to be looking at a few sofas that I love and hopefully at finalising decisions. So we'll catch up with you when we're there. Okay, so I have just gotten to love your home to the showroom, which is in Guildford. So if you haven't heard of the brand before, I'll pop the link in the bio, but I've just picked up a new chair for our dressing room which I love um, which you probably will have seen in a previous video but I just thought I'd kind of show you around some of the fabrics and the sofa ideas I'm thinking of there's so many things here some of which are quite different and cool which is kind of the vibe that I'm going for in the living room which is going to be a lot moodier and darker to kind of how clean and bright it is at the moment which I'm really excited for and I'll obviously walk through ideas for colours but yeah I thought I'd just show you some of the things that I'm really liking at the moment. I've just spotted this sofa and I love this fabric it's almost like a boucle in kind of an OT or really pale OT colour but it's actually the cushions here that I love. I love this fabric. Um, I'm gonna yeah, see if I can get a few samples of that to use in the living room. I really like kind of heavy repeat, repeat fabrics and especially when they're in kind of a tonal, um, like the piping and the pattern match. I really love that look. Also paired with the kind of blue wool, the powdered blue velvet cushions and then the lamps there I think looks really good. God, and with all of this raw oak as well. I mean, it's such a nice place with all of the beams and the exposed wood. Imagine if this was your house. <laughs> so we actually originally were thinking of kind of having a corner sofa like this, but given the size of the cottage and kind of the way we live, we thought it would make more sense to have a sofa and an armchair. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. But I do really love the color of this one. I'm not exactly sure on the colour, I'm sure I can find out in a moment, but it's like a really, really nice kind of khaki olive colour, I'd say. This coffee table footstool as well, I really love. So anyone who has followed me for a while will know how much I love loose covers, and yeah, this fabric as well is very me. Oh god, it's very soft as well, which is nice. Very comfy. I feel like this would actually be really comfy for a, like to use if you had loads of friends over, you were playing games or something, if you could kind of push it to the side. Yeah, love. This fabric is so, so nice. Love how this looks. Looks really comfortable as well. The only thing I'm not so sure on, for me, I really love a loose cover, so I don't know about having the legs out there, but I've just been kind of looking at different coloured velvets. Not that I think I'll be going for a purple, but just to kind of see. But yeah, there's loads of fabrics here, so. I have also just seen that they do headboards, so I love the look of this one, which is again a loose cover <laughs> i sound like such a broken record don't i i really love the kind of velvet green cushion with the linen similar toned headboard again kind of like mixing and matching fabrics in the same sort of tone but different texture i think it's really nice <laughs> So this is actually one of the sofas that I have my eye on. I'm not sure how well you can see it because of the lighting. Look how pretty it is outside. This showroom honestly is in like the middle of the prettiest countryside. But I loved the shape of this. I was looking at a sofa bed version which had a much deeper base. I haven't seen one here yet but I'll let you know if I do or if not I'll try and pop 
a photo of it up here. But yeah, I really love the kind of classic shape, but also slightly contemporary, I guess. Um, it's obviously not like a traditional Chesterfield because it's got the different back, but it has that kind of feel, like a contemporary Chesterfield. So yeah, really, really like that. But not sure if I've actually seen something else that I prefer, but yeah, we'll have a little think about it. This is your reminder when you come sofa shopping, test and test and test, 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 test. Honestly, I really love the look of this sofa online and it's really, really comfortable. But the reason for us getting a new sofa, other than kind of reconfiguring downstairs, making it work better for us, I need something that kind of supports my back properly. Um, I've struggled quite a lot with a bad back and although everyone's back is obviously different this sofa is quite deep which is very good but doesn't have the softest back other than the cushion and I kind of want something that's a bit more padded I think behind so that I can like sprawl out and watch TV <laughs> so yeah we'll have another look downstairs and kind of see what else I fancy but I really loved the um, comfort level of the patterned one and we are prioritizing comfort from now on guys because I've made the mistake before of choosing something that just looks good so yeah form and function hopefully will blend perfectly in the new sofa choice. <laughs> I honestly don't know how I walked past this sofa earlier because again it has the cushion fabric that I really love on but it also is just very me. Um, very traditional, I don't know if I'd like something slightly more contemporary, but yeah, I just love that kind of very classic British silhouette, so we'll give this one a little sit and see what I think. That's really comfy. is this gingham footstool it has a really really nice gingham skirt obviously matching the top fabric so it's a loose cover which it's kind of just in one piece yeah which I think is really really nice kind of like the one I just showed you upstairs it's kind of a coffee table stroke footstool which is yeah very practical for smaller spaces as well also one of the things that I was planning on having a look at and kind of testing for comfort was these footstools which are, I can't remember what they're called, Vivian, 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 <laughs> um, which yeah just really cute kind of button stools. I love the shape of these for again kind of additional seating if you have someone popping over you can just pull them up, they can sit in the corner of any room. But I'm thinking, I don't know if this is even possible but having them upholstered in that really beautiful pattern that I showed you upstairs on that cushion. Let me just show you again because I can see it on an armchair. There it is. Literally obsessed with that fabric. I need to get some swatches of that and I think it comes in a few different colours. Okay guys, I have also just seen that you can get lampshades <laughs> upholstered. So I think we might be having a room full of this fabric <laughs> coming very very soon. These are actually surprisingly comfortable. And light as well. Which is so handy. I feel like I'm doing this thumbs up as a signal of whether I like something. <laughs>
everyone. So it's been a few days since I last picked up the camera for this video, but I've been working on a few other things in the meantime. But I'm just about to get started, or actually I got started about five minutes ago, with the mood board for the living room after I showed you kind of the sofas and had a look around at different ideas. I have actually gone ahead and ordered a sofa, an armchair and a footstool, so really excited about those, but thought I would run through kind of how I'm making the mood board and the different colours and how everything's going to work together in the scheme. So I think I actually will make a proper how to do a mood board video, but just to kind of show you where I'm starting with this one, I have popped a big amount of the paint colour, which is Salon Drab by Farrenball, onto a piece of white card. Um, I usually will use white if the ceiling is going to stay white, so you can kind of see how the colours work together, but I'm actually going to be painting the whole room, including the ceiling, this colour. Um, but to be honest, I don't want to paint the whole sheet, so I'm just going to leave it. Um, so I'm going to start with that, and then once that's dried, I'm going to start layering on the different fabrics and textures in the room so that you can kind of see how everything works. And I mean, it will probably take a while for me to build up all of the pieces that I'm going to be using, so this will be kind of the first version of the mood board, but hopefully we'll give you a feel for the room. Okay, so I haven't fixed anything down yet, but I'm just kind of playing around with different colours and textures, and this is very much the kind of vibe that I'm going for. So there's some antique brass knobs. This is a Tobias and the Angel fabric, which I've actually ordered a footstool in. This is an armchair, sofa, cushions, and cushions are going to be in this as well. This is a curtain and blind fabric. This is the most similar to our floor I could find. It's actually slightly pinkier, but I think that will work with everything. And then that's the salon drab that you can just kind of see poking through. Um, and then there's gonna be some gold accents in there as well, but I haven't actually got any samples of that yet. But yeah, I'm really happy with how that's looking and yeah, looking forward to it kind of all coming into place very soon. So exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and round off today's vlog there. As always, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. It really, really means a lot to me. The project for the living room is actually going to be started next week, so you will have probably already seen this by the time that the room's been painted, but I'll try and hold off from putting anything on socials, on Instagram or TikTok until this video has gone live, but the new sofas won't arrive for about six weeks from when I've recorded this, so again, probably only two or three weeks after you've watched it because I'm quite behind on uploading videos. <laughs> Thank you so much guys and see you very soon.